Well, let's see here. There's another news bit for Chick-fil-A. The Chick-fil-A saga continues. It hasn't ended yet. And, you know, it's not going to end. And that's fine. But sometimes we have to sort of say to ourselves, hold on a second. What do we get out of doing this or that, etc.? Would it benefit the boycott that we have against Chick-fil-A or is it going to bite us in the ass? Now, Mario Lopez, he is a underwear model, actor, whatever. I used to be an underwear model uh, for a little while when I was young, very young, and when I was actually, uh, when I actually had the body for it, and not anymore, obviously. But that didn't last long, and Mario Lopez, he's had a eh, an okay career. I wouldn't say it was that incredible. And when he was on Saved by the Bell, I didn't really like that show when I was young, and that was the show to watch back then in the 90s. People were like, oh, did you see the Saved by the Bell? I'm like, no, not really. He seemed kind of, I don't know, weird. It's really gay, if you know what I mean. <laughs> it's really gay for me to watch Save of the Bell, and it really was gay. And it is coming from a homo. <laughs> and uh, Mario Lopez, uh, his acting on that show, it was horrible. Ugh. But he was really good looking, and he still is to this day very good looking. He has a nice physique. He's able to be a very good underwear model i would not i would not disagree with that but one thing is for certain he sucks as an actor and that brings me to the question of whether or not he's really there as far as being an intellectual and it's not i mean this is not the kind of person that wakes up every morning reading the newspaper i do that every day i wake up and i read the newspaper as much as I can and I try to try to keep up with politics I try to keep up with uh, stories with everything I can try to keep up with what's going on in the entertainment world and that's a really big thing uh, and so I'm trying to keep up every day with what's going on because my mind is working like that my mind is trying to seek information I'm not just here sitting in my ass all day Either I'm reading something, or I'm writing something, or I'm doing business, something. But it looks like this guy doesn't really care. And that's fine. I'm not saying that that's bad. I'm just saying. Just calling out the reality of things. And so we come to this article that says, this is from Queerty, and it says, Gay baiting Mario Lopez. Gay baiting because he knows who looks at these ads, who looks at his pictures, who buys his stupid underwear is, of course, gay guys. Us homos. I have never bought his underwear line. I don't like it. It's too tight. And so, uh, I wear a different kind of underwear. Uh, well, a different brand of underwear, of tidy whities But that's really, oh. I, they look really tight. They look really, I don't know. They look like they're crushing your balls. I wouldn't want that in mine. Even though I have a two-inch cock, <laughs> my balls are really bigger than my cock, by the way. So it's like, I have to find a way to uh, find a perfect underwear. And it took me years to find a perfect underwear. So, he goes on Twitter. This is what Mario Lopez does. He goes on Twitter. This is the gay... No, he's not gay. He's straight. But he goes on gay baiting. And he knows he's doing this. He knows where he's making his money. He's making money out of homos. Because they're the ones who are looking at his ass. Yeah, women are looking. But why would women want to buy men's underwear? Unless they're buying it for their boyfriends. And like their boyfriends are going to wear that shit. It's gay guys who are buying them and wearing them. Newly minted X Factor host, Mario Lopez, who owes a sizable chunk of his career to the lustful gazes of gay men 
gave a free plug to anti-gay or anti-quality Chick-fil-A earlier this month when he tweeted, quote, why does it seem like I always crave Chick-fil-A on Sundays? Hashtag frustrating. That's pretty frustrating. Uh, and I thought we were done with these uh, Chick-fil-A news articles. But I guess we're not done. And you had this fucker, Maya Lopez, craving Chick-fil-A. You know, I really don't care. I just don't. But uh, a lot of people do. A lot, of, you know, it. it Mario Lopez doesn't wake up every day like I do reading the newspaper, because the Chick Fil A thing was all over the web, all over the papers. Maybe he should have known. Maybe, but again, he's a model. He's an actor. He's a bimbo. He's there to please your carnal needs. He's not there to uh, be this political icon. So no, I don't really buy this that uh, people should be offended by it. I'm not really offended by it at all. So um, it's not really a big deal for me. <laughs> Chick-fil-A. Of all things to be craving. And you know, we had this food review on my show. Chick-fil-A bombed, all right? It's not really the best food. It's not. We are not sure which is more surprising that a man who's pushing his line of rated M underwear would alienate gay consumers or that his Latin Adonis eats junk food. Eh, whatever. Maybe it's because he's, I don't know, injecting something into his veins. <laughs> In response to Lopez October 7 tweet, you know, this happened in two weeks ago. No, 11 days ago. So that would be what, like a week and a half ago? Writer activist, oh, here we go. Wiener Savage, Dan Savage, tw tweeted back because you're a thoughtless jerk who just alienated a gay man who you expected to buy your new line of crappy man panties. <laughs> I can tell that he wears boxers. <laughs> oh, so what? No, here's the thing. I'm not going to eat Chick-fil-A. I did that Chick-fil-A review just to prove to everybody that uh, I am uh, objective as to the food. And it really sucked, by the way. But I gave Chick-fil-A a chance as far as culinary-wise to see if maybe the food is that good. No, it was not that good. It's not even that good to, even if it was pro-gay, I wouldn't even eat that shit. I don't go to Starbucks. It's Starbucks is pro-gay marriage. I don't even go there. I haven't been there for like five years. I don't go there because I don't want to get fat. I mean, I'm already fat as it is. I'm like 20 pounds overweight. I want to lose at least 25 pounds. I'm, you know, I'm already overweight. And what should I add those empty calories from those frappuccinos or whatever that crap they sell? Uh, so, yeah. But who is Wiener Savage? I mean, uh, Dan Savage. To really get on the case to really berate this guy. I mean, wh what what's his business? Because you are a thoughtless jerk. Oh, really? Look who's talking. This is the guy who likes to bully little girls, by the way. You know, I would never start an anti-bullying campaign. I won't. Because I know that that will be so hypocritical of me. Because you know of what I say, what I do on this show. So the last person to be doing any of these anti-bullying campaigns is somebody that can basically ruin the whole campaign by going on the internet and saying the things. Look, I say many controversial things on Twitter. I say a lot of things. I call out many people. I call them names. That's my nature. Some people may not like it. Oh, well, too bad. 
And what uh, Wiener Savage should do is just be honest with himself and say, look, I'm a bully as well. And stop with this whole stupid, it gets better campaign. He's only doing it for the glamour and the awards. That's what it is. He's getting Emmy Awards and all this shit. Glad Awards. Oh, yeah, look at this. I'm saving lives. No, you're not, you stupid jerk. You fucking fraud. Uh, every gay guy that I know really doesn't like Dan Savage. And I don't blame him. I don't. I mean, a lot of people are getting fed up with Dan Savage. And let me just... I read... I read a um, post or a comment on this article that was really directed at Dan Savage. I want to read it, see if I can find it. It was really good, by the way. Damn it, I can't find it. Where is it? It was really good. Well, I can't find it, but there was a comment in here that really nailed Dan Savage. And the thing is, Dan Savage is not realizing that a lot of gay people, a lot of gay guys, in particular gay guys, we're getting fed up with this shit. I mean, one thing is Mario Lopez, who's fucking brain dead, by the way. He's a, he's a he's a a washed up. I mean, I'm not saying this to be mean. All right, I respect him. I think he's very good looking. I think he's. Uh, I would definitely suck his cock if I was a little bit drunk. But here's the thing: he's not a good actor. He's not really a good talent, and his only talent is to wear underwear. That's pretty okay. Believe me, that's pretty okay. I mean, he's he's really making it in that area. But we should not expect people like that to know the intricacies and the politics and the problems that we are facing. At least the political problems with a particular company. Like Chick-fil-A, who has donated money. Now, here's the thing. Mario Lopez has to understand why Chick-fil-A is anti-gay. So we have to explain it to this pumpkin head. Now, I'm, of course, I'm trying to be nice. I'm not trying to, uh, you know, uh, diss Mario Lopez or, 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 or disrespect him. But I'm just saying he's a pumpkin head. Nothing bad with that. It's just that he's not, you know, Washington Post or New York Times material. He's not Chris Cluey, you know, that football player from the Vikings. That guy, reached, that guy reads the paper every day. He reads blogs every day. He knows what he's talking about. This guy, what the fuck does he know? He, he knows shit. I mean, I've seen all these interviews of Mario Lopez. I mean, he just sits there, talks about his cock all day. And that's fine. I don't care. You can... Sometimes I can talk about my cock on this show, but at least know many diverse subjects. Know that your intellectual capacity is really, uh, really high. And for Mario Lopez, I don't think it's that high. I'm sorry. I don't want to offend anybody or Mario Lopez. I think he's a very nice guy. I think he's very super attractive. I will definitely suck his cock after two or three drinks. I will definitely do that. But... I will not marry Mario Lopez, no way, because he's not really my material. And the thing is, is that because I like somebody that's a, a little bit more challenging mentally. Not, not mentally challenged, but <laughs> I'm saying intellectually more challenging for, you know, to challenge themselves intellectually, to know things, to know what's going on, know politics. Not just politics, but know, you know, history, no art, no, no stuff like that, to be cultured. And that's what I, I like to see in attractive guys, you know, just like many straight men would like to see attractive, uh, I don't think that's really, 
True. <laughs> Straight men don't care what these fucking bimbos say. They don't want to fuck them. And that's fine. And you know what? I don't think he's going to lose anybody. Mario Lopez. But the thing you have to understand is that Mario Lopez doesn't wake up every day to listen to see what, what's on the gay report. You know, it's, it, he's not doing that. But he knows that gay men and probably closeted gay men and even straight men are looking at this shit. There are a lot of straight guys who, who do, I mean, who really love to see themselves like Mario Lopez, by the way. They don't have to be gay. But they can just be like, hmm, I wish I had that my, you know, myself. Not necessarily that I want to fuck Mario Lopez, but I really want to be like him. Kind of thing, you know. But I don't think it should be a problem because a lot of these uh, gay guys who like Mario Lopez, who would buy his underwear, th some of them are not really in tune. <laughs> I, uh, a couple of days ago, I met this gay guy at Target I think it was and I met him I think he referred to my show or something like that or I think it was my blog he was referring to he read my blog and he recognized me he said hey you're Jose Soto blah, blah blah he's like yeah we talked for about 10 minutes he read my blog but he's never heard about the Chick-fil-A fiasco yeah, and that was pretty weird. And then um, one of my gay neighbors, uh, who is very young, by the way, he's about uh, 16 years old, and he lives about a block away from me. He visited me about two days ago, came down the street. He was going to the mail to get his mail, uh, and uh, we talked and we chatted for a while. He's gay. He already told me about that. And I, we were talking about something, chicken came up, and then I said, oh, like, Chick-fil-A. And he's like, well, what about Chick-fil-A? I'm like, didn't you know? And you know, there are gay guys out there that don't know about Chick-fil-A. And we expect Mario Lopez to release, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know. But at least it didn't happen on Appreciation Day, right? Like that Broadway star who works with a bunch of gay guys... And all these gay guys, you know, they're in the know. They talk about Chick-fil-A all the time. And Broadway. And I heard that they're trying to make a play about Chick-fil-A. Is that really true? I don't know. I heard about that. There's some guys that are trying to put this together. Uh, trying to do a musical or something like that. Chick musical. Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Chick-fil-A musical. Starring Victoria Jackson. Oh, that would be hilarious. Starring Mike Huckabee. As Jackson Dexter. A manager at Chick-fil-A. We will have a 15-minute intermission. Two 15-minute intermissions. So that way, you have enough time to go to Chick-fil-A and buy yourself some nice chicken sandwiches and support these pro-traditional family values. <laughs> no, actually, they're going to make no, no something like that. that They're trying to make a play about the whole Chick-fil-A controversy. That would be interesting. But this Broadway chick, this star, uh, who... Was it? I don't remember who it was, but she starred on Legally Blonde, the musical. Oh, she got a lot of heat because on uh, August 1st, which was Mike Huckabee's Appreciation Day for Chick-fil-A, she went on Twitter and was like, Mmm, yummy. I bought myself some Chick-fil-A and uh, hash fries, whatever those are, those little fries. I forgot their name. And all in a whatever. So she took a picture of the Chick Fil A food that she bought, and she put it on Twitter and everything. And she got all that heat from all these gay guys, like her makeup artist and the director and the producer, <laughs> basically everybody. <laughs> 
everybody in the fucking show is like, what the fuck are you doing? It's Chick-fil-A Appreciation Day. We should have Mario Lopez Appreciation Day. Everybody should wear tidy whities <laughs> Yeah, that would be nice. So there are people who are having a problem with this. Ah, it shouldn't be a problem. In fact, all these gay guys who buy the shit, buy his uh, tidy whities they're not going to make this into a big deal. They're still going to buy his shit and they're still going to appreciate him for uh, his physique and that he's attractive and all that shit. In addition to proffering man panties, Lopez said he was honored to be embraced by the gay community. In an interview with The Advocate, and auctioned himself off for a dream date at the GLAAD Media Awards in June. So, well, you can argue, Jose, he's involved in the gay community, he should know. I'm like, well, like, they're, like I said, they're gay guys who don't even know about the Chick-fil-A controversy. And I was surprised that that gay guy who read my blog didn't know about that. Or was it? I don't know what he read, but I think, yeah, it was my blog. I don't think it was my other blog. I have another blog that is going to come out really soon that it's in the um, testing stage. But I don't think he read that one. I don't. I have a really bad memory when it comes to actual conversations. I just remember people's faces and their names. Uh, well, this guy was kind of cute though. The guy at Target, he was really cute. I would have banged him in the in the restroom, <laughs> but I was out of time. Anyway, so there it is. Mario Lopez. He craves Chick Fil A. And people crave his ass. Great. <laughs>